Hello YouTube, welcome to my HL scale model railroad. This is update one. If you've seen my previous videos, you would see that uh, it's changed a lot over the past couple of months. Um, but I guess we'll just move on to the locomotive review. Alright, so here I have a GP40 TWX custom um, freight train. And this one's not HO scale, but it's kind of a cool locomotive. And if you look here, it's elevated. Um, I use solo cups and boxes and tunnels. And a few little toilet paper holders. And then I have an automotive box car, a, a tanker car, flatbed, and also my favorite caboose. Then we have my uh, blue and yellow Santa Fe Super Chief with working lights and horn hook couplers. Then we have my Burlington Northern from Athern 1709, which has AD couplers. And then we also have a second Super Chief. So apparently my little TWX is at a battery since it's battery run push button. So it's out of batteries, but I can get my Burlington Northern started then might be able to get a good shot. And none of these are DCC equipped. So that kind of stinks, but don't know what's going on with my Burlington Northern, so I'm going to rewire it. Um, so. Shoot. Ha! Ah, here it comes. And so it really runs kind of nicely. Um, and, but over here the track's a bit dirty. If you can see that a little bit. This would work. So the track's a little bit dirty. And then I have a bunch of cars. and So yeah, the track's a bit dirty. And worked on this a lot. It's different. And so then we'll get to the scenics. So as you may know, in the last videos that I've made, um, the board was just this brown color, but now I've got it to a snowy scene. So what I did is basically I got wrapping paper and empty newspaper and basically just crumpled it up and laid it down in specific orders so that the entire track would get covered. So that was kind of a simple and cheap way to do it. Not to mention that we got it from the news press office for free, all of it. And then I got the houses from a friend. They're supposed to go to a Christmas layout, but it turns out they work really good on the snowy scene. Um, so I have the station, there's a school, church, and my favorite, the butcher shop. It's kind of cool. And my second favorite, I love this, um, this gray and red house right here. So, got everything for free on this so far. And the cars are just cars that I've collected over a bit, over a little while. Scale model people, trees. I still have to get um, the trees covered with a little bit of snowy stuff, but... Then we have the church display and basically carolers right there. So that worked pretty well. And for these little setups right here, I got some empty cans. And it's kind of like graffiti almost. Um, so that's kind of cool. And it works really good. My train runs on it very smoothly. Okay. And so, oh yeah, and I also use this Quaker Oats box. It seems to be working pretty good. It's a terminal. 
Yep. And then I have the roads right here. I just kind of colored them on. Didn't get the lines very straight. Not to mention, I didn't think I'd be making a snowy scene. I thought I'd be making a grassier scene. And then also, over here we have the track. There's going to be a rail yard over there. Um, I am going to be getting some switches, hopefully. I can get enough money to make some switches over here. And then I can store like these cars over here. And there will be the freight yard terminal. Like a yard master. Yard master area. So, yep. And then also over here we have kind of a wooded area. Although it's very active as you can see. Horses pulling things and sleigh rides. So now let's get to the train cars. So right here I have a Norfolk and Western train car. It's uh, its number is 33174. I got it just like that. I haven't weathered it, but I have the trucks and one of the wheels. Somebody took my wheels and now I don't have any wheels for this one. Uh, these are just extras. They don't they don't run on my track very well. They're not really supposed to run on the track, but every now and then I'll put them like in the yard area on top of this elevated track. And then we have two main central cars. Um, I haven't gotten anything into them. I haven't weathered them. I did dent the sides a little bit. And one of the sides I dented a bit too much. And then this flat car was a caboose. But I kind of took off the shell. And then there's another caboose. These came with the Santa Fe. The Super Chief set. But... The Burlington Northern came in its own package. So I guess that concludes my layout update. Um, hope you enjoyed. Please comment and subscribe. Thank you.